Hello, this is Stefan Marek from Conductor and welcome to this video on how to install Conductor so that we can start learning Apache Kafka. So Conductor is this graphical user interface and it is super easy. You just need to download Conductor at this URL and then you run the executable and complete the installation wizard and off you go, we'll have Conductor. So let's get started. So let's see how we can download Conductor. So if you go to conductor.io on our website, this will take you straight to the front page and so we need to download conductor so for this we have a download button in the front page or on the top right and if we change the design of the website I think you should find that button still pretty easily so we click on download and then we have download conductor 2.12 so this is the current version I have right now and if you click on this 2.12 actually you will see the change log so we're pretty open about how we change conductor over time and the timeline. So we have conductor 2.12 on April 1st, and we add some change log to how we change. And you can go up all the way back in time. As you can see, the change log is really, 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 really big. But you can go back all back in time to when we started conductor. And the first release that we had in the change log on conductor was on January 20, 2020. Okay. So as you can see, a lot of things are changing and we keep conductor updated a lot. Okay. So now we need to download Conductor, and Conductor is always free for a single broker, and we have a 14 days trial for production cluster. So if you are doing this course and you just started with Conductor, please make sure to complete it within 14 days to be able to go all the way when we have a Kafka cluster. Otherwise, you will need to keep on using only one Kafka broker. Now, Conductor is really, really easy to install. And so on Mac, you just download a DMG file, and it's a PKG file, sorry, and it's going to be installed directly on your computer. Uh, for Windows, it is going to be an MSI file. And for Linux, we try to uh, pack it into as many ways as possible, a deb, RPM, and zip, which should get you started with Conductor as well. As well as Linux, if you have uh, problems, we suggest we go into the Linux FAQ, FAQ to see in case you have Linux installation step issues. And overall, if you need help with installation, there is the documentation right here, which is great. And we have documented how to install Conductor in specifically for Mac, Windows, Linux, and how to update Conductor as well. So I'm going to cancel this download because I already have Conductor. So installing Conductor is super easy. You will have a little wizard on Mac, Windows, and on Linux is going to be a little bit different, but it will be a wizard nonetheless. So you just click on next, 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 and then you click on install. The installation is happening, so you need to enter your password on Mac. And then when everything is done, Conductor is going to be installed and you can launch it just like any applications on your Mac. Easy, right? And so when you're done, then you can just type in Conductor and open Conductor on your, on your computer. And if everything went correctly, you're going to see this and we'll be good to go. So we'll see you in the next lecture to set up Conductor correctly.